Hello students. Yesterday I showed you one image and in that image back of a patient was shown having multiple hypopigmented lesions. As you can see this was that image. So in this image what you can see you can see the site is trunk that is the back of the patient and over back there are macules macules are small flat lesions and they are light in color hypopigmented so do you know of any condition where hypopigmented macules are seen over back yes this is stenia versicolor which is also known as petriasis versicolor okay now from the name of this condition you can very easily remember two very important points first petriasis means scaling so lesions are scaly so if you see these lesions carefully you will find that there is scaling and what you can do you can simply scratch the uh, lesions and you will find that few very fine scales comes out Versi color. Versi means different and color means all of you know color. So different colors can be seen. Here the lesions are hypopigmented but sometimes they can be hyperpigmented also. So both the types of lesions can be seen in petriasis versicolor and all of you know that this is a very superficial fungal infection caused by Malaysia yeast. So here the answer is Malaysia furfur. There are various species of Malaysia like Malaysia globosa, Malaysia furfur. So these are the common causative agent. Now this is the image for today. In this image you can see that there are few oozing out lesions. Okay, so this lesion is oozing out as if some fluid is coming out from the lesion, very wet lesion is shown. Now tell me that if you want to treat this condition, which type of preparation you are going to use? These are your options. Are you going to use ointments, gel? or you are going to use lotion and in lotion whether you will prefer water based lotion or alcohol based lotion so whatever is your answer just type your answer in the comment box below and tomorrow we are going to discuss this question okay thank you very much